Welcome to the fourth series of the Active SG Master Club Fitness Program. How is everyone today? My name is Melvin and I'm from Active Health. I'm Joanna from Singapore Physiotherapy Association. Today's workout focus is on the upper body. We use our upper body almost as often as our legs. After building strong roots and trunk, it is good to grow stronger around the branches so we may bear fruit of health. I hope you are ready for some fun. Warming up is very important before any form of exercise. It helps to prepare the body for exercise by increasing blood flow into the muscles and joints. This will enable us to perform movements with minimal risk of injury. So now we shall do the warm-up right now. First exercise we'll be doing hip rotation. So from right to left. Let's go. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the right. You'll feel the stretch on your outer neck. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look to the left. If you want to stretch more, go even further. Look to the right. Look to the left. And last one, look to the right. And look to the left. Okay, back to starting position. Alright, now we have done left and right. We'll do actually up and down as well. Now look up. Down. Up. Feel the stretch on your neck. Down. Keep your back straight. Up. Down. Up. Down. Last set. Up. Down. Alright. Now we have stretched the neck. Now we'll do shoulder rotation. Now, in a forward motion, bring both shoulders to the front. Imagine you're drawing circles using your shoulders. Now, if you want to get more stretch, pull them wider. Last one. And change direction. Now, we'll go backwards. Now, stretch them more. Feel the stretch on your shoulder. And last one. Good job. Okay. Now, next one, we'll be doing side bend. So, place your, heart, place your hands beside you. Go down as far as you can on the right, as far as you can to touch your leg. The other side. Right side. Left side. Now, remember to keep your back straight. Now, go further down if you want to stretch even more. Left side. Last two. Last one. Now go deeper. And you're done. Good job. Next exercise, pat the bug. So imagine there's a bug in front of you. Now do a light tap on the floor. Bend your left knee. Pull out your right leg. Pull back to the side. Bend your left knee. To the back. Remember to turn your hips back to the front. Now forward again. Sideways. Backwards. Forward. Side. Backwards. Remember to turn your back leg. Forward. Side. Backwards. If you are more of a challenge, go further. Side, backwards. All right, now we'll switch sides. Now on the left side, let's go. Forward, side, back. Forward, side, back. Forward. Now go further if you want. Back. Last two. Side, back. Last one. Sideways, back. Good job. Now next, we're going to squish the bug. So imagine there's a bug in front of you right now again, and you want to squish it. So you go, storm, bring back. Now sideways, storm, bring back. Backways, storm, bring back. Now let's do it again. Good. Stop. 
and stop. Bring back. Now, if you want to have more of a challenge, and again, open up, wider. Stomp. Sideways. Back. Now, last one. Stomp. Side. Back. Now, change side. So, left side. Stomp. Sideways. Back. Drag back. Forward. Sideways. Back. Forward. Good. You're halfway through. Side. And back. Remember to keep your back straight at all time. Forward. Side. Back. Last one. Drag. Side. Drag. Back. Drag. Alright. Next, we'll be doing Swat the Buck. So, Again, you'll be stomping the back while swiping again. Now, try to the side. Stomp, swipe. Now, backwards. Stomp, swipe. Okay, forward again. Stomp, swipe. Sideways, two hands, swipe. Keep your back straight. Back hand, swipe. Good, you're in the middle. Swipe. Sideways. Swipe. Back. Swipe. Remember, keep your back straight. Last two. Swipe. Sideways. Swipe. Backwards. Swipe. And last. Swipe. Sideways. Swipe. Backwards. Swipe. Good job. Now we're we'll going to do for the left. Now stomp, swipe. Side, swipe. Back, lift your left, lift your right leg, swipe. Forward, swipe. Left, swipe. Back, swipe. If you want to feel the stretch even more, you go bigger swipes. Swipe. Back, swipe. Last two, swipe. Sideways, swipe. Back, swipe. Last one, swipe. Sideways, swipe. Backwards, swipe. And last one, swipe. Sideways further, swipe. Backwards, Swipe. Alright, the next exercise, squat to overhead reach. So place your legs shoulder width apart. Look forward, keep your back straight, squat down slowly. Once you're in this position, stand up, put your hands above your head. Again, squat down, push up. Squat down, push up as high as you can. Last two. Upwards. Last one. Upwards. Good job. Now for the last exercise for the warm-up. High knees. So you take your right leg with your left hand. So you go upwards. Okay, now switch. You do left leg, right hand. Now switch. And switch. If you want more of a challenge, you can bring your leg even further higher. If not, a low raising of leg is fine. Last two. And last one. Good job. You're now all warm up and ready for exercise. For this workout, you will need two bottles and a towel. Grab your towel. Grab the ends of it this way. Put it above your head. Imagine you are rowing a boat. Rotate at your waist while slowly bringing your arms down to the side. We will try with the right side first. Now let's repeat it on the other side. Now repeat this sequence until the time ends. 
Try to focus the muscles around your upper body and also around the shoulders. Ensure that your elbows are straightened throughout this exercise so that you get a full torso rotation. Alright, now let's go for three more. Three, two, and one. That's right. Now let's move on to the next exercise, which is bicep curls. Pick up your water bottles and keeping your elbows at the side of your arms, lower the bottles to the down to the bottom and bend it upwards without lifting your elbows away from your body. And we'll do it for one minute. While doing this, for those of you who are standing, try to make sure you're not arching your back or bending backwards as well. Keep going. You will start to feel your biceps muscles around here aching as well. About three more to go. One. Two, and the last time, three. All right, now, the next exercise that we're gonna do will involve two of the bottles as well. So what we're gonna do is forward raise up this way, all the way up, and when you come down, you will go to the side this way. For those of you who have injury on your shoulder or you can't go too high up, do it halfway or to the point where you feel comfortable without pain. While you're doing it, ensure that your shoulders are relaxed and not hiked up like this. Okay, three more to go. One. Two more. Two. And the last time, three. Good job. Now, we're moving on to the last exercise, overhead press. We will still need your water bottles. And this time, what we're going to do is that we are going to face the water bottle outwards this way. And we are going to push it upwards towards the ceiling and down. Up and down. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Try not to tense up your neck muscles while doing this exercise. Good job. Keep going. For those of you who are uncomfortable, you can modify it to just raise it up to the comfortable level that you are at. Alright, just three more to go. Three, two, and one. That's right. Now let's move on. The second set of all these exercises. So let's pick up our towel and start doing the wood chop rowing boat exercise. Now doing a wood chop will help with strengthening of the back and shoulder muscles as well as your grip strength. This exercise also involves some form of rotation around your torso, thus your core muscles will also be working as well. Remember to ensure that your elbows are straightened and try to turn as much as you can to the sides. Alright, now three more to go. One, two, and three. That's right. Alright. Now, let's pick up our bottles and start doing our bicep curls, ensuring that your elbows are sticked to the side as well. So let's begin.
Good. Keep going. Yep. All right. Good. Keep going. That's right. For those of you who find it tiring to lift up too high, you can go midway and down. Midway and down. Don't stop moving. Keep doing it. All right, just three more to go. One. Don't give up. Two. And one more time. Three. That's right. Okay. Now let's move on to our front raise and side raise. So up we go. One, two, three, and up. So you have noticed that some of you have shoulders which are quite stiff. The exercise will help in increasing the mobility of the shoulder joints at different angles. You can increase the difficulty by holding on to the water bottle in each hand while doing this exercise, a heavier water bottle. Remember to do it at a range that you're comfortable at and not force yourself through the range. Alright, keep going. You're getting tired, but keep doing it. Alright, let's go for four more. Three. Two. And the last time, one. That's right. Okay, now let's move on to our overhead press. This one, where you push it upwards to the ceiling and downwards. Now that we have increased the mobility of the shoulder joint by doing the front raises, it is time to strengthen the, the muscles around the shoulders. The overhead press will help with increasing the muscle strength around the shoulder so you have more confidence in performing overhead action or movement such as putting the laundry up, this way and down. Alright, for those of you who can't go, just try doing it at a lower angle. That will help too. Alright, four more. Three. Good. Two. And one. Alright, now let's move on to the last set of all these exercises. Pick up your towel and we will start to roll our boat again. Let's begin with the right side. By doing at least 25 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity every day, we will be able to hit 150 minutes of physical activity per week, which is the global recommended guideline for physical activity. Let's chop our way through to a more active lifestyle. Alright, keep going. And this time, challenge yourself by going a little bit more. Turning a little bit more. That's right. Now let's go for four more. One. Two. Three. And the last time, four. Good job. Okay. Now let's move on to bicep curls. So pick up your water bottles. Alright, keeping your elbows to the side and let's begin. One. Did you know that your screens emit blue light that affects the release of your sleeping hormone called melatonin? Try to unwind from your screens 30 minutes before you sleep so that we can produce more of these hormones to help us sleep better. Keep going. Once again, for those of you who find it tiring, try to go through half range instead. This way. This will help you in your grocery shopping as well when you lift up heavy grocery bags from the supermarket. Alright, just four more to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. That's right. Now let's move on to our front to side raises. This way, 
All right, and up we go. Up. And to the side. That's right. How many hours of sleep are you getting per night? Five, six or seven hours. It is recommended that we need to get at least seven to nine hours of sleep daily. Do your best to hit this amount so that you can recover from this workout today and also keep your mind fresh every day. Go. One. Two. That's right. Now, this is the last exercise, which is the overhead press. So keep your elbows up high this way and let's start. Up we go. Keep going, don't give up. Fruits and vegetables are important source of vitamins and minerals that we require every day. There are five different colours of fruits and vegetables. Red, blue, green, orange, yellow and white. With all of these, we'll help to reap the best benefit for a healthier you. Alright, keep going. Alright. For those of you who can't go high, like Melvin, do like me, half range will do. Alright, now let's count down four more times. Four, three, two, and one. That's right, that's good. Alright, now we're going to head down for um, a cool down exercise. And um, cooling down is just as important as warming up. Cooling down helps us to reduce our heart rate as well as cool down our muscles. Static stretching is an important aspect of a cool down regime because your muscles have been contracting and feeling tense during the workout. It needs to be stretched out to reduce the tension and allow blood flow into it. With this increase in blood flow into the muscles, it will help in providing oxygen so that the muscles can recover faster. Therefore, do stretch out even when you get home. So let's cool down now. We'll start off with our neck first. So first off, bring your right ear to your right shoulder in this direction. Use your right hand, go over to your left ears and give a gentle pull. We'll hold this for five breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Relax your shoulders, breathe in and out. Two more times, breathe in and out. And the last time, breathe in and stretch it out. Okay. And let's go on to the left side. So bring your left ears to your left shoulder into this position. Use your left hand to go over to your right ears and give a gentle pull, feeling a stretch on the right side. Five breaths. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Relax your shoulders. Two more times. Breathe in and out. And the final time, breathe in and out. Well done. So let's move on to your shoulders. Now, um, we'll start off with the right side. So let's bring your right hand upwards. Bring it across your chest. Use your left hand to hook it up and feel a gentle stretch behind your shoulders here. And we'll hold it for five breaths too. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Three more times. Breathe in, relax the shoulders. Two more. Breathe in and out. And one last time. Breathe in and out all the way. All right. So we'll repeat the same thing on the left side. Let's bring our left hand up to the ceiling. Bring it across the chest. Use your right hand to hook your left arm. The same thing, feeling the stretch at the back of your shoulders. We'll hold it for five breaths. Now breathe in and out. Relaxing the shoulders again. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now two more times, breathe in and out. Be careful not to turn the body too much. Breathe in the last breath and out. Okay, all right. Next off, we're gonna stretch your triceps. So let's start with the right side, lifting your hands up this way. This time, bend your elbows backwards. 
Use your left hand to push your elbow backwards, feeling the stretch on your triceps. Now, five breaths. Let's go. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more time. Breathe in and out. Be careful not to arch the back too much. Just pull backwards. Breathe in and out. And the last time, breathe in and out. All right. That's great. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the left side. So let's bring our left hand up to the ceiling and bend our elbow backwards to the back. Use your right hand to pull the elbow backwards. Remembering not to arch the back too much, maintain your back straight. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. The third time, breathe in. Relax the shoulders. Two more. Breathe in and out. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. Now this time we are moving our stretch to our lower back. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to lift up our hands on the right and we're going to bend our body to the left side as much as we can, feeling a stretch at the side of our body. You can use your arms to just secure the left hips and stretch. In this position, let's breathe and hold for five breaths. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Three more times. Breathe in and out. Two more. In and out. One more time. Breathe in and out. All right. So we'll repeat the same thing on the left hand. So let's breathe in. And let's bend over to the right side. Ensuring that the hips are pointing to the front and not twisted. Let's breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and relax. Two more times. In and out. And one last time. Breathe in and relax. Alright, okay, now let's move on to our stretches on our legs. First off, let's start with the right leg. Let's straighten our right leg forward, pointing the toes up to the ceiling, ensuring that the hips are pointing forward. So what we're going to do is that we are going to put our hands to the front and we're going to reach forward, feeling the stretch at the back of the thigh and a little bit at the calves. So let's hold it for five breaths. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Try to relax as much as you can. Breathe in and out. Don't stretch beyond the limit, just comfortable will do. And out. Well done. Okay, so let's change over to the left side. So straighten the left knee, pointing the toes up to the ceiling, hips pointing forward, shoulders pointing forward. Let's put our hands out and let's reach forward, feeling the stretch at the left thigh, back of the thigh, and the calves a little bit. Bending forward, let's hold it for five breaths. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Out. Three more. Breathe in and out. Just two more. Breathe in and out. And the last time, breathe in and stretch. All right. It's great. Now let's move on to our last stretch, which is the muscles at the inner thigh. So let's start off with the right leg, putting it at the side of the body. Toes pointing to the front instead of pointing up. Pointing to the front, fixing the left hip. Now let's 
lift up our right hand and let's bend outwards to the side, right side, feeling the stretch in the inner thigh and let's hold it there. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Three more times. Breathe in and out. Don't stretch beyond the limit, just comfortable. And out. Now the last time, breathe in and out. That's great. Okay, let's move on to the left side. So inner thigh muscles. Now let's put our left uh, leg out, toes pointing to the front, right hand fixing the right hip. Let's reach to the side of our body, to the left side. Let's move and go. Let's hold it here, breathe in and out. So you're supposed to feel the stretch in the inner thigh muscles. Good. Now two more times. Let's go. And out. And the last time, breathe in and out all the way. Good effort today. You have done a great amount of exercises. Your form was fantastic. I like what I'm seeing. I hope you enjoyed the exercise series more than we have and you should develop more confidence in yourself as you regularly do these exercises. Thank you for having us. Rest up and drink up. <laughs>